Hello gentlemen and welcome to the first introduction of Project Underscore Razmataz. This segment is a way for me and hopefully soon us to introduce ourselves to you and provide a background of sorts to who we are and what we believe. It will also let me introduce segments that will take place over, well, over the next couple of weeks. Uh, now while the introductions may be short, the following episodes will be longer. And I say that having just recorded them all, not a single one of them is more than five minutes. But I can assure you the episodes themselves will be far longer. Uh, I've worked on a couple of strips so far and whew, I'm fearing doing any more. To sort of give a background of myself, uh, sort of politically speaking, we'll go back to 2016. I was a Hillary supporter despite knowing nothing other than her name and that she was a woman. So about the average Hillary supporter at the time. Uh, this didn't last long however as I began to watch <laughs> sort of wrecked compilation videos, mostly wrecked feminists. Uh, these spread to mostly the rest of feminist videos and I quickly became a fan of Trump. Uh, a large part of these videos included clips from Ben Shapiro and Steven Crowder himself. Uh, now I never called myself a fan of theirs, mostly due to their religious beliefs as I was very much into, <laughs> into my r slash atheist phase. Uh, obviously a pillar of the atheist movement was Armored Skeptic. Uh, Armored Skeptic focused more so on religion. Uh, and so I began watching Shoe on Head and Chris Reagan for my film on politics. Uh, however, this also led me to watching Sargon of a Card at a later date. I grew to like Sargon's content more and more, and eventually I began to watch almost exclusively him. However, I did try and broaden my intake a little with Tim Pool, but I never really took a light into his content. Uh, another inspiration was Count Dankula, who I began to watch on about an equal level as Sargon. Seeing these people make content made me want to create on my own. Uh, in the final years of school, I created an Instagram account called Up the Boris. Uh, the sense of urgency in its creation was caused by a contest held. Uh, however, I've tried to look at who held the contest. I can't find them, unfortunately. Um, and I can't remember his name either. So uh, that is a shame. Uh, I lost, unfortunately. However, the newfound responsibility was a good motivator. Uh, you know, I wanted to post, I wanted to sort of get big as everyone does. Uh, months would pass and I'd lose accounts after account, uh, but I kept making more. You know, Instagram took hundreds of me accounts down, but I never, I never, I never stopped. You know, I continued with my passion. And things were going well, you know. We had Boris Johnson, you know, he won the election. Um, it, everything was looking up, we got Brexit. Uh, Donald Trump was probably going to win the next election. So things were going well. Then came Covid. Boris had betrayed the British people, we gave him the country, and he stripped us of our rights and acted as a puppet of the World Economic Forum, though I did not know of it at the time. Uh, I changed the name of the account to Project Underscore Razmataz, remember the underscore, it's very important. I created a YouTube channel under that name and rarely posted. It was, it was a barren wasteland. Uh, the upload schedule was a mess. Uh, however, due to the long break caused by technical issues, I decided to change things up a bit update the quality, expand the appeal, and now we're up to date. To sort of move from the past and talk about the present, I think of myself as a classical liberal when it comes to the government and the market. However, I am quite socially conservative. I believe in a free market and lower taxation. Borders should be closed and the culture of Britain must be defended whether it be from Germans, French or Americans. I believe Britain is a great nation and it is our duty to ensure it must stay that way. Moving away from the politics, however that will be a major theme throughout the channel, I do have alternate interests. You like VTubers? You're in luck! Gods and goddesses of long dead pantheons? Great to hear! Horrifying creatures, sins and virtues, a certain Christian and a man from Akron? They'll all be things I plan to discuss in the future. Uh, I thank you for listening and do hope you enjoy the upcoming content. That's about it. Tron.